Hey Glamour, it's Michelle Visage, and today I'll be sharing some of my favorite RuPaul's Drag Race reveals and performances. Ooh. Kennedy Davenport versus Katya. The song is Roar. Kennedy is a dancing machine. And Katya as well. But my favorite thing was they were up there doing this in Hello Kitty costumes, making Mariah Carey very happy. Look at Kennedy. Swiffering the floor. Now, this lip sync is legendary for a few many reasons. Kennedy Davenport is a, you know, a lean, mean dancing machine. But then also they're dressed up in the Sanrio Hello Kitty outfits that they had to come out just as the kitty and they had the voices. Kennedy does that off the stage, incredible jump split. Katya then follows suit on the stage. It was like the battle of the splits. I think this one was a favorite of people because first of all, people are obsessed with Katya for just being Katya, and people are obsessed with Kennedy Davenport because, well, it's obvious that girl can dance. She is the dancing queen, and that's what we remember. She jumped off the stage. That's an iconic move. Not jumping off the stage, we don't like that. But she jump splitted off the stage. We like that. This one gets a very strong eat it. Just eat it. This is Riju Rochu, All Stars 2. It is Alaska Detox. Roxy and Katya. Ooh, when they did this, this was like energy in the air. Look at these <laughs> They mean business. What I loved about this performance in particular was all the queens work hard on RuPaul's Drag Race. You can't not work hard. It's a prerequisite to be on the show because it's, it is a marathon. And these kids came out as a team but you can tell that they were individually vying for their own superstardom. It worked. It wasn't one trying to be the Beyonce. Like, they worked it out. Each verse was better than the next. This detox verse was iconic. Riju Rochu is one of those songs that even when the girls are in the club today and they perform it, like it's part of their thing. When they go do clubs, they do their Riju Rochu verse live. And it is something the crowd lights up for. People know the words to all of it. It's become like a part of history. It really is a moment. Like these kids, each one of them was a superstar. Each one of them came out to slay their verse. And collectively, they were a group. It was unbelievable. Only one thing to give this one. Extravaganza eleganza. Ooh, Evie Oddly in Brooklyn Heights. Sorry, not sorry, Demi Lovato. Oh my goodness. This lip sync is one of my all time faves for many reasons. Like, first of all, Brooklyn Heights can do no wrong when it comes to dancing. That is fierce. And Evie, who comes into her own and does things the oddly way is amazing. Watch, she will give it to you, the way she contorts her body, the things that she does. And that's what I love about Evie is she's just herself. Watch this. Hi, hair reveal with a flip. And she revealed to Rick James braids. What I love about that is they're both iconic. The lip sync is iconic. Brooklyn Heights found herself in the bottom two, which everybody was shocked about. I believe that was the Snatch Game episode. Her Celine Dion didn't do her any favors. And then of course she lip synced against the, the winner of the season, Evie Oddly, who is just so original. I'm gonna say right now that Evie can still do more than Evie even knows she can do. That is a multifaceted queen who is still growing and showing. Shantae, you both stay. Roxy Andrews, Alyssa Edwards, Whip My Hair. I mean, do I need to say much more? These two, look it, look it, Roxy. The most important part of that lip sync and why it's so iconic is because it was the first time we saw a wig reveal on the main stage of RuPaul's Drag Race. When she did, I mean, there's a gif of me that's like, ah, that will live on in infamy because it was the first time we saw that. We went Bananas. Roxy must have dislocated her neck. Had 18 bulging discs after that number. Alyssa was amazing too, but Roxy shut it down. And she is to this day, actually they both are to this day, two of the favorite queens. This lip sync gets only one word. Slay. Dita Ritz versus the princess. Natalie Cole, this will be an everlasting love. This will always be, forevermore, one of my top three favorites 
of all time. Dita owned this lip sync like nobody's business. And the princess was fierce. Again, the princess was a queen that was kind of fluid and, and not one specific type of drag, and, and I love that for the princess. But Dita, the simplicity of what Dita did and that the embodiment of the song, that's what this lip sync was all about. Dita smashed this lip sync. Iconic. One of my favorites forevermore in the rest of the history of RuPaul's Drag Race, top three, not kidding. I have one word. Eloquent. Sasha Velour versus Shea Coulee, RuPaul's Drag Race season nine finale. Now, Sasha came out in this wig and we were like, a wig? Sasha Velour? Bald and things on your head? Yes. Long red wigs? I love it. I'm here for it. It just didn't seem like Sasha. Well, guess what, kids? It wasn't. It was a hiding place. And of course, Shay kills every lip sync. So going up against Shea Coulee, you had better have a plan. And Sasha had a plan. And, and poor Shay, because she was just, once this moment happened, it was like eclipse, total eclipse of the heart. And Shay is so fierce, that's hard to do. So then the moment came when Sasha decided, ah, here it comes. There they come. And the whole place lit on fire. Like how did not one rose petal come out of the wig the whole time? That lip sync was so iconic for so many reasons. Shea Coulee and Sasha Velour fighting for the title. And I think Sasha represented something so different. She did it her way. And even when I personally, I can only speak for myself, would push her to go out of her comfort zone, she would do it and she would do it well. And she still went back to who she is. And that's what I love. I never want them to be anything other than they are, but more than they thought they could be, if that makes sense. This lip sync was an iconic moment in RuPaul's Drag Race history. Though they were both amazing, and I live for some Shea Coulee, Sasha Velour worked it out. This is the finale lip sync. This is Peppermint and Trinity the Tuck. Trinity Taylor is one of those queens that when you watch her, you know that she was born to do drag. That is why she's here on this earth. She is a drag queen. There's a few of them that are like that, and she is one of them. She is so much fun to watch, and Peppermint was amazing, amazing. Peppermint came to slay, and that's what she did. She won this lip sync. I, I think what went wrong for me is Trinity did her reveal too soon. We always talk about giving it a little time, let us linger. It doesn't matter if we know a reveal is coming. We want to be hungry. We want, it's like burlesque, you're teasing. Peppermint was smart, and she waited. Then she did her reveal and it was worth it. She got a payoff. Wig reveal, dress reveal, boom. It doesn't even have to be a lot and it just makes you excited. We love that. These two fabulous divas, slay! All day, every day. Thank you Glamour for having me. I hope you enjoyed some of my favorite RuPaul's Drag Race performances and reveals. And don't forget to watch Queen of the Universe on Paramount+. Plus.